Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So, a huge thank you to everyone who was patient with me yesterday. Yesterday definitely had some very rage-filled moments. I was having some trouble with some bosses, I'm sure you've heard. But today, I hope I will actually fix that and do you proud. So, first up is all of the improvements and suggestions that I got from you guys. So, one of the first things I saw was James make chlorophyte armor so chlorophyte armor is not that much different to the one that i've already got it's literally like such a minor minor upgrade but you never know a minor upgrade could be all that you need the other upgrade was james just use some uh, some knockback potions or whatever they're called and i'm gonna take your advice on that because i feel like i let myself down by not just grabbing some grants immunity to knockback it's a non-calamity buff I am just going to use it anyway, because I don't want to take away from the damage that I've already got. I'm having trouble. It's okay to, like, bend the rules a little bit if you're having a bad time. Now, one of the most requested things, without a doubt, was James. Grab the total halibut. So, this is a really cool weapon, and it's very powerful, and it can take you from the Wall of Flesh all the way up to the Moon Lord. Now, I actually, I thought I was going to go this route. But to be honest, I just want the extra challenge. I like being challenged, in all honesty. Like, even though it comes with all of these frustrating moments, the payoff is really sweet. And I don't want my payoff to be, oh, he, um, what was, oh, I forgot what I wanted. I wanted a Splunk Potion. But yeah, I don't want my, uh, my payoff to be, oh, he farmed for a long time and got a rare weapon. Because that's what it is. And, uh, and yeah. So, and another one that I actually got, which I actually thought was, like, insanely useful was the idea of, why don't you farm for the SHP thingy and do it that way? So essentially saying, like, use the setup I used in my death mode series. I don't want to do that only because I've done it so recently. And, uh, and another one was chlorophyte bullets. Everyone recommended chlorophyte bullets. I think that's a really solid idea. I will use that when I go back to my gun. So I am ready for this fight. I am going to do it. Now, the funny thing is, I've actually had so many Plantera bulbs here today. It's kind of crazy. So, I've been talking recently about my uh, my new schedule. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not have a fight start here. That is a joke. <laughs> yeah, so I've been talking recently about my new schedule and stuff. Obviously, like, since my partner got a job, I wanted to try and align with, uh, with her timetable. So, uh, it's going pretty well, I have to say. Today, I woke up at half past six, and I just felt genuinely great. And I felt great all day. It's been good. And, uh, and obviously, like, whenever I bring up, like, my partner recently, I've been talking about her, like, graduating and, like, getting this awesome job and stuff. But, uh, I have to give a massive shout-out to my sister. My sister also graduated today, and she's now got a degree in, uh, in psychology, which is, like, really, really cool. I'm really proud of her. Unfortunately, I couldn't go. Because the way graduations seem to work is that they only sell, like, two tickets. So, one ticket went to her husband, and then one went to, like, my dad. So, I was good I couldn't go, but uh, I definitely got to say a well done. Right, this is going so much better. I made this arena bigger. That's why you can see Plantera, like, absolutely charge at me. It's because of the fact that the, the arena is so much bigger now. It wants to, like, get a little bit enraged. And that was actually thanks to you guys. I made it wider. I also made it, uh, what's, I don't know, gave it more vertical space? I don't know. What do you say? Wider and taller? I guess it's taller, but it seems weird to say because it's actually, uh, a, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the Plantera, you are going to get beat today. I swear to you, you are going to get beat. I just lost my adrenaline, whatever. Yeah, when I was looking back at the footage from yesterday, like, one of the things that was just absolutely killing me was bouncing off all of these little things and like taking 100 damage for every bounce like i'm getting a lot of uh damage done to me now but it's definitely not as bad all right i want to save my rage for the final bit of the fight when i feel like my health is going to get a little bit more tense oh get out the way okay we can do this all right rage now Gotta make sure I don't take damage while I'm using rage. Oh, I took damage. No, no, no. Get, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, I'm taking knockback. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. We are so close. We are so close. Please. Please, Plantera gods. No. <laughs> it's always here. Why? Why is it always 3,000 health left? Screw this fight. 
<laughs> Screw it! Oh, wow, we did so much better though. Oh, this is gonna be it, and you know what the best thing is? This is actually a legit calamity run because I don't even have the knockback potions. I completely forgot them. This is it! This is it! We did it! Woo! We did it! Oh my god! Finally, I have never been so happy about beating Plantera! Woo! We did it. God, I am so pumped. My god. My god, what that took. <laughs> we did it. Bam. We got some stuff. Amazing. Right, so, let's keep these bad boys in our inventory. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something completely different. I don't think anybody's going to expect this. I'm going to make a weapon. A very interesting weapon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go down to the dungeon because there was an enemy there that we faced off against. And this enemy will now drop a certain item. And I'll show you what it is. I don't want to keep the suspense going for too long. But I thought this was really good. Look, you can make a Megalodon. And all you need is this. Oh, and you also need some of these. We can figure that out. <laughs> Where do they drop from? I feel like you just mine those. Anyway, so these, they drop from idealists. And you can get idealists in the dungeon. I've seen them. So that's what I'm going to go and farm for. We did it, though. <laughs> I'm so pumped. God, I, it was grinding me down yesterday to, like, the point of no return. I was like, this is it. I'm quitting Terraria. It's all over. So sick. I'm very happy about that. Right. Now, I've got to take a little bit of a break because I'm running out of uh, time in the in the real life. I've got something to do. And then when I come back, we'll do the uh, dungeon thing. Okay, I'm back. So I actually did a little bit of Googling. And apparently, I need to go into the depths itself to go and get some of those depth cells. I thought they actually just mined up, but I was thinking of something else. So, that being said, I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Going to take a shine and a night owl to help me out here. Going to swap over from this to this. Actually, wait, that's not right. I want to swap that with that and that with that. Yeah, okay. Um, and this should help me out. And so what I'm basically just going to be doing is farming away for these depth cells. Let's see how quick we can actually get some. I don't know how rare they are. They might be rare. They might not be rare. I don't even know. <laughs> they might only drop at a certain point. They might drop now. I, I really don't know. I know that they'll they'll drop once either Calamitous or Plantera has been defeated. That's why I was so like adamant on doing either or. Because that also opens up quite a bit of stuff later on as well. Huh. Okay. So I've got none so far. Oh, I also am not breathing very well. Uh, am I going to be all right? Allows you to swim underwater, provides light, water breathing. Like, I feel like I'm, um... Yeah, I'm falling down so slow. <laughs> and I'm not obviously, like, full of breath yet. It'd be really good if I had, like, one of these. Oh, there you go. That's what I need. I need these. This is all I need, really. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, but the only problem is, is I don't have an area to breathe. So I might actually have to come back and, uh, and buy some uh, breathing potions and stuff like that. I'm just going to grab as many as I possibly can real quick. I might actually get enough just from doing this, just this, as quick as I can. Oh my god, I'm getting so many. I feel like it's the depth cells that I've not got enough of, though. Right. Kill all of you. This is going well. This is going well. Is there any area where I can just, like, heal up or breathe? Like, are there any, like, breathing pods? I don't know, like, in a, in a Sonic game? It's so dark. <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> I dropped free platinum. That's probably not the best. All right, I found some Tenebris. This is it. It's this stuff in between the planty mush. I believe what it's doing is turning the uh, the gravel into mush, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Right, how many pieces did we need? We needed five. I think I'm going to be all right then. Okay, sick. So, right. Okay, cool. So let's slap all of this into here. Deposit all. See you later. Get in there. Right. Let's see. Megala thingy. But why? Oh, it's there. <laughs> I was like, okay. But why you no know work, though? There we go. Right. So beforehand, this was 42. This is now 48. So craft that up. Awesome. We're going to get a reforge on that soon. So let's test it out. 
Oh, it, it lasers. It lasers. Does it turn bullets into what it wants to turn bullets into? I don't actually know. So I'm also going to spend some chlorophyte and get some chlorophyte bullets. Let's see how many I can make. 70. Nice. Because <laughs> I ain't got enough bullets. That's all right, though. Let's see. Oh, that actually does work together. All right, let's take off this setup here. Let's get this off. So that's that's the, the setup that we're rocking now. So I'm going to do something a little bit different than what I planned. My original intention was to not use any of the advances that Plantera gives us other than making a new weapon. But I have decided I'm that bad that I want to use the Yuli Bloomy Armory stuff because I feel like that's going to be better for me. So I, I thought about this long and hard and that's what I'm going to do. So Hellstone Bars, I need to make some of these. All right, plenty of those. And then I need to make an Eye of Desolation. This is for my fight later on today. So I'm going to get some Yuli Bloomy. Now, I also need some Essence of Cinder. Essence of Cinder is the one in the sky, right? They should probably name them a little bit differently. When I think of Cinder, I think of, like, fire. But I think I think of that because you get Cinder Toffee. And Cinder Toffee is something you'd eat at Halloween. So, I don't know. Right, so, I've got a bit of a legacy for talking about the washing machine. I feel like we can all agree about that. So, I don't think it's too much of a reach to talk about something I saw, and it just kind of blows my mind. This is a piece of tech. It's a, it's a home appliance piece of tech. It, like, genuinely blows my mind. Why do I keep getting plantera bulbs here? It makes no sense. Right? So, have you ever heard of the knock-knock fridge? This blew my mind. I saw this the other day. So this knock-knock fridge is essentially like a fridge. It's got a glass front, and you can't see into the fridge. It's got one glass panel, and it's all black, essentially. And then what you can do is you can double knock on the glass, and it reveals what's inside. It's so sick. It's done through, like, a shader and a light. It's really good. If you ever get the chance to see one, you got to see one. I was in, like, um, PC World the other day, and I saw one, and I was like, this is... This is revolutionary. And it was £2,000? Why would you need a £2,000 fridge? Can somebody please explain this to me? One, why aren't I living so lavish? And also, why is the knock-knock fridge so expensive? I mean, if it was a few hundred, I mean, I could maybe get it for the novelty. And, uh, and it would be like a lifetime investment, right? Thousands of pounds! Who needs that? It was blowing my mind, but I have to bring it up. If you ever get the chance to look up the Knock Knock fridge, I think it's made by LG, which stands for, you know, lights are gone. I don't know. <laughs> right. Come on, worm. Wait. Right. I don't know how much Yuli Bloomy I need. Is this Yuli Bloomy? Oh, that's perennial. That's what I meant. I don't know why I keep calling it Yuli Bloom. I don't know if it is if you make Yuli Bloom bars or it's perennial ore or I'm getting confused with Thorium. I don't think it matters too much. Well, let's grab some more of that. I tell you what, though, in terms of like, I'm trying to think of like other pieces of technology I have seen that I've been like, okay, that's that's a little bit excessive. I'm trying to think. I remember back in the day, one of the things that was like going proper viral when I was a kid was back when the iPod Touches had just come out. There was a designer iPod Touch, and it used it was like 24 karat like white gold. And I remember that being just like, and that was something like maybe like 15, 16,000, maybe even more. I don't know. But like that, I remember thinking I was a child. I was like, that is the most excessive thing, the most ostentatious thing I've ever heard of. It kind of blew my mind a little bit. Do you get Yearly Bloom outside of the jungle? I'm going to go back into the jungle because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to risk it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to meet you guys back at the house because I feel like you've put up with enough mining today. And I'm also going to get some chlorophytes. I need some more chlorophyte bullets. I burnt through them really quickly. All right. I might actually have enough now to make everything that I want. So, let's see. I don't know how we do this. Which one does it come under? Equipment, potions, placeable, or misc? Do bars come under misc? Yeah, okay. There we go. Perennial bars. Okay, awesome. Right, now here's the armor set. It should be called perennial, I think, or Yuli Bloomy. I can't remember. Is it here at the top? Am I not recognizing it? Oh, it's Reaver. Why was I saying Eula Bloom? I apologize, guys, because that is like a mad confusion right there. Right. <laughs> okay. Reaver armor. Nice. All right. So, chest piece. Leggings. And we'll go Ranger, obviously. So, let's see. Summon magic. Throwing. 
Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I was like so confused. I was like, huh, which one? I went silent. Right, so we're currently at 68 defense. This is doing 52. 70 defense, and this is doing 53. The set bonus, though, is 5% increased range damage. While using a ranged weapon, you have 10% chance to fire a powerful rocket. Rage activates when you are damaged. So that's really cool, right? So I'm going to slap these away, and then I've got to make some more chlorophyte bullets, and then I'm ready to go. What I'll do is I'll try and, if this fight's a win, I'll bring you along for it. If it's not necessarily a win, I'll edit it down, but you know how it goes anyway. You've, you've been here before. Okay, let's see what the damage is of our new setup. Oh, oh, it's good. <laughs> that is nice. That is a lot better than what we had before. I'm so glad I did this now because I was getting so annoyed at this fight. Wow, okay. Like before, I would get an adrenaline hit and I would still, I would build up my entire adrenaline bar and I would still have loads to go left. Oh my god. All right, let's try it with rage. Let's try and circle back. All right, let's try it on these guys. Oh, I, look, I damaged my rage. All right, I need to really concentrate, but that's so good. Ah, I'm still getting beaten. <laughs> this is not going well. i tell you what it is. It's the homing bullets. I'm just trash at the homing bullets. i tell you what, I'm bad with most homing things when you think about it. Like, I'm bad with the skulls in, uh, in Skeletron, aren't I? I'm really bad with this. I think it just kind of, like, reveals something about me. I'm not great. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is the bit. Ah, see, look, they just come out of nowhere. Stop circling around. <laughs> God, they do my, my Sweden. They really do. Okay, so we're in the final bit of the fight. I don't think this is going to go well. Yeah, it's going to go terrible. I ain't got any health. I ain't got any chance of survival. Not really. There's too many lasers. Just back off. Oh, I tell you what, it's actually going really well. Come on, we can do this. Rage. Oh, <laughs> we did it. I tell you what really helped, being silent after I knew it was going to fail. I was just like, I'm going to fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like be silent, put up with the rest of my fight. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. I tell you what, that's been a very uh, long arc of episodes, I feel like. That was almost like my Python's version of the slime god, almost. I am really proud of us today. We have done well. So we'll open this up. We got a Lashes of Chaos. Very cool. We also got a Animosity. That's pretty cool. We got the Void of Calamity, which is cursed. We're not going to be using that. And we got some Ashes of Calamity. Let's check this out. So you can make Calamitous Brew now, which is pretty cool. I don't know what I did with my voice then. I was like, no. It was the change. Uh, you can also make the Sigil of Calamitous, which is a pretty good upgrade if you're playing as a mage. And you can also make the, the hammer. So that's it. Right. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a bit of a crazy one, but uh, I can't believe it. We've, we've finally done it, and we did it without, like, insanely OP gear, and that feels great. Right. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy today's episode, please be sure to leave a like. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.